how to grow a team in a shifting market. Hello, my name is Mackenzie with Call Group Residential, and I wanted to share with you some things that I have learned in the last almost two years of being a team leader of the number one team here in Cary, North Carolina. And what I have learned is what agents want and what agents don't want and what agents think they need and what they really don't need to be successful in real estate. So I hear all the time from agents, technology, technology, technology. And when I think of technology with real estate, I immediately think of our CRM. And our CRM is where we put in our clients, where we put in our customers, and where we're trying to build our business. There's drip campaigns, um, there's reminders, there's tasks set. But what I want to question and what I want to ask you is, our technology is only as good as the user. And I don't mean if you're tech savvy and I don't mean if you know how to do real estate, but if you're not following up and if you're not doing all of the things to build your pipeline, to create business in three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, who cares what kind of CRM you have? And who cares what kind of technology this brokerage can give to you? Technology is the way of the world. Our firm is incredibly tech savvy, so I'm not saying that it is a bad thing, but what I'm saying is when people think technology, they think CRM, and our CRM cannot be um, a replacement for us actually picking up the phone and calling potential clients and or customers. The next thing that I want to share with you that is incredibly important when building a team is the training and the support. I have learned from my coaches that onboarding is our introduction. This is my way as a team leader to put myself out there, to put my money where my mouth is, to not over promise and under deliver. So we have an onboarding process that we have tweaked in the last two years and we keep making it better and better and better so I can see what our agents need. So in our onboarding process, it is a one-on-one -on -one with video, and it's not just two weeks and you're done. It used to be, and we got feedback from it. So what have we done? We changed it. It's a 30, 60, 90 day onboarding and accountability program to get you where you want to be in your business. The more stringent you are in that 90 days, the quicker your ramp up is in your business, whether you are a brand new agent or whether you have been an agent for a long period of time. So technology, yes, but it's only as good as its user. Support and training, and I just don't mean after those first two weeks of their onboarding, I mean continual support and continual training. And my trainings change every day. It's not, I have, I'm a little bit um, OCD and like getting things out there and, and <clears throat> getting things on the schedule. But what I know is that if, <clears throat> excuse me, if I have something set for a Tuesday for training, but it's not a topic that's relevant to my agents and it's not what they're talking about in the field, I'm gonna scratch that and we're gonna find a relevant training that they can take with them immediately into the field and help them convert at a higher level. So technology, um, training and support absolutely leads a new business. I'm not dumb enough to think that people aren't just coming to me for leads. And that's absolutely part of what we can provide to you um, on a team. But again, I can provide the lead to you, but what are you, the agent, doing to cultivate that relationship, to follow up and learn your skills and get better at your skills so that you can convert at a much, much higher level. So I like to say that being on our team gives you more at-bats, right? It gives you more opportunities, but what you do with that opportunity is completely up to you. And we're here to, again, support and give you the skills that you need to convert at an incredibly high level. And the other thing that everyone thinks about and, and things that we talk about a lot here is the commission structure. And it's the cost of doing business. And I hate to think about it as the cost, but really what is the net value the team is providing to you and not just in leads and not just in technology, but in true support and true community. And that goes to my last thing that's incredibly important about building a team is your culture. 
Now that is a buzzword. Um, it's used all the time, but I cannot stress enough how incredibly important our community is and that we are around like-minded people. Our goals for our team are the collective of the goals of the agents on our team. And if we're all are not on the same page, we're gonna get a cog in the wheel and we're gonna stop and we're gonna slow down and we're gonna sputter. It's gonna be going back and forth. So what's incredibly important for production on a team is community and a sense of it and that there's a sense of belonging. And that's incredibly important on those days when real estate kicks you in the teeth when you that lead that you thought you were going to be able to convert you didn't convert when you were beat out on a listing appointment um when maybe you're not making your financial goals for a certain month who do you have around you who do you have supporting you and as a team leader that stops with me the community and the culture that i provide and create or i should say help create it is on me. So if we don't have that, then I have to look in the mirror at myself and I have to figure what that is. So in this shifty market, people want community. People want a sense of belonging. People want to know that they can go to somebody to help ask for help and to get the help that they need. So creating a team right now, um, your team and your culture are so incredibly important. The people you surround yourself with, the training and the support that you can provide for your agents. The technology, but again, only as good as its user, leads a new business that you can provide for them or really even teach them how to get themselves, right? Um, I want to not only just give leads to agents, I want to show them how to create and produce their own momentum and their own business. And last but not least um, are, is the commission structure. Think about the commission structure, think about how you can be profitable as a team, not just to put that money in our pockets, but to give back to the agents in training and resources and leadership. So if you've been thinking about growing a team, if you are leading a team, if you're stagnant with your growth of your team, I recommend you thinking about those five things to see if that might not help you to propel your team to that next level and who knows, maybe you'll become the next mini brokerage. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.